The Shikishima class consisted of a pair of pre-dreadnought battleships built at the very end of the 19th century. The ships were the Shikishima herself and her sister ship, the Hatsuse. In the decades before they were built, there were separate competing ideas on the future of naval warfare. The British put their faith in a large battle fleet, whilst the French, unable to match the industrial output of the British, adopted an approach that instead advocated the use of numerous commerce raiding cruisers and the deployment of large numbers of the newly invented torpedo boats to defend home territory. The idea being that these were cheaper, and so a smaller country could still produce a lot of them. If a fleet of battleships approached the coast, they would be torpedoed, and the cruisers were fast enough to evade the battleships on the high seas, where they could destroy the enemy's merchant shipping, and therefore their economy. The Japanese initially went with the French way of thinking, but in the Sino-Japanese War they discovered that in fact, torpedo boats were short-range and could be defended against, whilst cruisers were fairly ineffective at dealing with heavily protected battleships. Only the massive levels of corruption, underfunding, and poor training on the part of the Chinese Navy allowed the Japanese to win the naval war, and they were very aware that against an enemy with even a modicum of one of those three, that strategy would have failed abysmally. So they changed their fleet design to more closely match the British way of thinking, and therefore needed battleships. However, their industry was not yet developed enough to construct such vessels, and so they ordered them from Britain instead. The Fuji class was the first such order, and the Shikishima class followed from this. This would continue until the Satsuma class of semi-dreadnought. The class was a modified design closely based on the Majestic class battleships of the Royal Navy, and was armed with four 12-inch guns in a pair of twin turrets, one forward and one aft, as was the pattern for most pre-dreadnought battleships. The secondary battery consisted of 14 casement-mounted 6-inch guns, a further 20 smaller guns of 3-inch calibre, plus 12 47mm guns of varying size that made up the anti-torpedo boat defences. Four torpedo tubes, a pair on each side, would complete the weapon's loadout. The armour consisted of 9 inches of Harvey steel protecting the magazine and engines, which could take the ship up to 18 knots, although the ships proved capable of 19 knots on testing. The armoured deck sloped in a manner akin to the turtleback used on protected cruisers, which gave some additional protection against incoming fire. However, like almost all ships of their era, they carried minimal to no protection against underwater explosions such as mines and torpedoes. After they'd finished finished construction, the ship's first actions were in the Russo-Japanese War. In the first battle outside Port Arthur, the Japanese Admiral decided to attack Russian shore positions with his main guns and engage the Russian ships with the secondary and tertiary batteries. This was not very successful due to the previously mentioned ineffectiveness of cruiser-grade firepower against battleships, and both ships were hit by return fire, although thanks to the poor state of the Russian fleet, the damage was not serious but the Japanese were forced to disengage. Later, they would be part of the fleet that lured out part of the Russian Pacific Squadron, which then lost the battleship Petropavlovsk to a mine as it, they retreated back into the harbour. The next month, the ships were part of a force taking their slot in the blockade rotor when Hatsutse struck a mine which disabled her. The, the Fuji-class Yashima moved in to assist and struck another mine. The Hatsutse then drifted into yet a third mine, which set off her magazines, and she sank in minutes, taking over half her crew with her. The Yashima would gradually sink hours later due to progressive flooding. This showed the weakness of designs that did not take account of underwater explosions, as at a stroke, the mines had reduced the Japanese fleet strength by two battleships, at the cost of a handful of mines and a night's work by a mine laying cruiser. Shikishima avoided this fate and took, pay, took part in the Battle of the Yellow Sea, which was an intense close-range gunnery duel between the Russian Pacific Squadron and the Japanese fleet. It lasted for hours and is actually a fairly interesting pre-dreadnought battle, but for the purposes of this guide, Shikishima avoided damage from the enemy, but had been firing her gun so much that a shell exploded prematurely in a hot barrel. At the Battle of Tsushima, she was the second in line of battle behind the flagship and was hit nine times. She also suffered another premature shell detonation, wrecking the gun in question completely. However, she also helped the flagship Mikasa sink the battleship Osiliabia by gunfire, the first time that this had been achieved in the pre-dreadnought era. 
She went on to find a damaged armed merchant cruiser and sink her with a torpedo, another first. After an uneventful First World War, she was reclassified as a coastal defence ship after the Washington Naval Treaty, and then used as a training ship and transport. After a long period as a training hulk, she would eventually be scrapped in 1948. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have a comment or suggestion for a ship to review, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to comment on the pinned post for dry dock questions.